Okay, so it's a uh, quiet uh, night. It's a uh, Friday night fight. So just uh, Cash and uh, myself, Phantom uh, Rescue, playing um, playing Hasty, Hasty Attack. attack. Uh, Cash, why don't you take me through your deployment and where you're playing tonight? Uh, 1,500 points, late war. Uh, so I'm doing 7th Armored again. A bit of a change from the list I used at the uh, Summer Siege. So I've got some primed models because I'm changing it up. But uh, it starts with small uh, Stewart's. I have a Cromwell platoon with Firefly, uh, HQ with an attached AA Crusader, another Cromwell platoon, um, and then that's the AOP for my battery of just two sections, so single battery two. I have two Daimlers and a Dingo, and M10s. So six platoons, and I only get to deploy three. Okay. So that's reserved. All right, I'm playing a total of uh, eight platoons. Um, I've got the... Uh Platoon deploy. I'll start on the right hand side of uh, Panzer Force. I've got uh, dug in, uh, dug in infantry over here, uh, minding uh, one objective. Got target, uh, another platoon of dug in infantry over here on the left with uh, some uh, 88s mixed in. The second objective is here on the left hand side of the table. And then for reserves. Uh, besides the uh, Mike and Ikes, I've got HMGs, Martyrs, uh, Packs, and uh, some uh, small mortars. So we're going to pick it up uh, and start uh, turn number one. And I'll just give an overall view of the table here. And we'll see at the end of the turn. All right, so wrecking move first. So we just ended, uh, we ended turn one. Uh, wrecking moves took place. And uh, allowed uh, yeah, cash. My steward's, my steward's zoomed all the way up, came in around to here into the cabbage patch. Allowed him to, to get up there quickly. This right away. Uh, you countered by moving your infantry over. So they're within two stands are within four. That's right. Uh, I moved up Cromwell Platoon here with the one I see in behind. And then I moved my other Cromwell Platoon here, kind of see what you're going to do with your Panzers. Okay, took some shots. And took some shots with the Crusader AA and these guys, this guy, the two I see, fired into your gun. Only got one hit, didn't do anything. That's right. Uh, you returned fire, the 88s, didn't roll too well. Rolled a one on request. And rolled a one for firepower and then bailed. All he did was hit once and bail one tank. So a really rough turn for him there. Uh, and that's it. Um, I guess my AOP flew on. Um, and my OP Sherman's hiding out right now because my sections are off board. Wait and it's going to be top of turn two, so I'll get two dice for reserves, right? And uh, my turn, all I did pretty much was... Uh... As was mentioned, just uh, move some uh, infantry stands to get within objective range, and uh, start moving my Panzer Force, and that's uh, it. So we'll see you at the end of the turn. Bottom of uh, turn two just finished. Can you take us through the play-by-play? Uh, -play? Sure. On uh, my turn, um, this was still bailed, and all my Cromwells are here, so I swung the uh, two IC around this way, passes bot checks, moved the platoon up here and fired. I got two hits on these guys, blew one up and bailed one, and you subsequently did not get back in. That's right. Yeah, stayed uh, out. The return fire on your turn destroyed two and didn't touch the other one. So I have the command tank over there and the other guy back here, so they don't have to test. Um, you fired your 88s at my AA that was bailed out and just vaporized it. Um, that's all that basically happened here. You then moved your infantry over to maintain contesting with this objective. Um, you forgot your Stormtrooper rolls, so I'll let you do them. <laughs> uh, you fired over here anyways into my stewards and bailed one. Just a bad roll, basically. So you bailed one of my stewards. Uh, so it'll be the top of turn three. I'll get three dice, but do you want to roll Stormtrooper for this platoon? You're all, yeah, because then I'll at least be able to try and get these two guys yeah, in a little I'll, bit closer. I'll it's a friendly game. Right on, right on. <laughs> Turn four, so okay, so we're about to start uh, turn four. So uh, at the bottom of turn three, this is uh, pretty much what happened. Go ahead. Uh, well, it was a much better turn for the Germans. Uh, I pulled back the remaining guy to the platoon here. You opened it up with the long distance 88 shot, and the Firefly failed motivation and fled, so you got a point off that. The best part was the five shots from these guys into my 2IC, and you didn't go higher than a 2. Yeah, I am missed. So this guy lives to fight another day. Um, 88 fired into here, killed uh, one Stuart, right? Yeah. That's right, yeah. Stuart, and then your martyrs came on from reserve, 
fired into my croms, destroyed one, and bailed one. So you got really lucky, got your martyrs when you needed them, for sure. So and you still have one bailed out in the, uh, and I have one in the orchard. In, this, in the orchard still. You can get back in. Right. Okay, so uh, go ahead and roll for reserves. So four dice now, and they all come in. All right. So my M10s and my Sastins. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Uh, we'll see some uh, mobile artillery and some uh, more tanks. We'll see what happens. Okay, so. Bottom of four. Bottom of four, yeah, quick turn. So what I do, uh, my M10s came on, Moved on, fired and missed completely That's right. into them. Uh, benefit being when you return fire your turn, all you did was manage to bail once. You whiffed pretty badly too, so. Yeah, pretty bad. That's basically it. You just repositioned a little on your turn. Mm -hmm. um, what else happened? Oh, Sexton's rolled on. Uh, that's about it there. Um, my second rec unit of Daimlers rolled up behind here. They're behind. They're not touching the hedge, so they're just waiting, waiting to come out. My Croms returned fire into your martyrs. He got back in. The old guy got back in. Return fire, blew up two, build the other one, and they failed motivation, right? Failed motivation, yeah, and that's fled. right. And then you moved your infantry up to contest, so that on the start of my turn I don't win, obviously. And you also managed oh, to right. uh, kill an 88 team. Stewarts, they stayed put, fired, main guns did nothing, the single machine gun round from each of them, I actually hit, you failed your save, and I rolled a six. Alright, got very lucky with that. That's it, so it's my turn next, there's no reserve rolls, so let's start at five. Alright. Yeah. Bottom of five. Bottom of five. So what happened? Uh, you returned... Oh, no. I failed to get back in on my turn. Uh, moved the rest of them over here. I right? stuck around to take two shots. Stuck around I missed. Just missed. You moved your panzers up here, fired and missed. Right? Right. Um, what else happened? Um, I bombarded. Um, and... No, that was a turn before. Wasn't yes. Sure. Before. Um, what happened over here? What happened over here? This is just a bunch of jigging around, moving some guys, doing a little bit of machine gunning. And basically, it's it's right, It's just a back and forth on this objective. You move infantry in, I kill some off, you move some more in. Like, your mortars now came on, direct fire smoked at them, missed at them. Um, I finished off the other unit last turn. So yeah. just kind of trading off. And I decided to get out of the foxholes over here yeah, and, and uh, move my uh, right. second platoon of infantry over to try and... You know, keep these guys from taking that objective. Yeah. Uh, didn't uh, make stormtrooper, so they're uh, stuck at the crossroads. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, turn six. Okay, another uh, another quick turn. Bottom of six. Bottom of six. Uh, what did I do? Um, moved up now with my M10s and blew two tanks up, right? That's right. So now there's only two Panzers left. They there passed their motivation. One here. And one way over here. Um, then I did a whole bunch of machine gunning over here, killed some stands, pinned them. Your packs came on, missed completely. Um, and you, basically, all your shooting missed except for direct fire smoke on the Stewart. That's right. That was it. It was a really quick turn. Yeah, and then. Uh... Oh, I, I hit these guys with some artillery and pinned them, but they unpinned anyways. I think I only killed like one team. Yeah, and they managed to uh, spread out. I'm spread out a little thin to cover off two objectives. I've got uh, well, more than a few stands within four inches of there, and uh, only looks like one or two within four inches of that one, so we'll see how uh, this turn plays out. All right, so bottom of, uh, what was that, bottom of six? Uh, it was the end of my turn seven. The end of so turn, basically yeah. Basically halfway through turn seven. End of turn seven. This is what, uh, this is what we're left with. Uh, basically came down to me uh, failing company. Yeah, my, M, my M10's moved up, blew up that Panzer, and then your other one failed his motivation. That's flight. right. Yeah. So that got that platoon out. Um, repositioned here a little bit. I moved these Stuarts out over to here. Um, artillery landed on there. Didn't really do much. Just pinned. I don't think I even... I maybe killed the stand. Yeah, didn't killed the stand with artillery. But it did pin the units. Um, so then main guns from the Kroms went into your gun... Guns and actually just killed the command stand, I think. Oh, no, I killed a gun. You killed a gun, yeah. I killed one gun. Uh, and then a bunch of machine gunning with the Stuarts into the mortar platoon that was here. Then I assaulted them, because there's only, what, three stands left? That's it. Assaulted them. They broke and fled off the board. So then we did a quick tally after I finished up my shooting and realized you had this pinned one gun left, this infantry platoon, 
And the one stand left for the command from the stand 88s. from the 88s. Yeah. So you only had three out of eight platoons left. Yeah, and the command stand of the 88s has been making uh, <laughs> the uh, man alone last player. last man or man alone roll for so yeah, three turns in a row. Came down, like you said, company were out because you only had three out of eight on the board. So it was a good game. So, I was, I could, you know, like every turn I was like ready to capture that at the start of my turn. And every turn you, you managed to get something in That's there to right. contest. And that hedge placement was huge. The fact that you were able to move stuff up and be in cover. Well, it benefited me, but it also benefited me that I was able to roll scattered reserves and, and get anywhere along the table edge both, both times. for both yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. The only well, really, uh, only on a five or six would it have pooped. Yeah, and the only team that didn't see the see the board uh, was uh, the HMGs, which against my yeah. seventh armored list wouldn't would uh, would not last very long. No, no other AT assets on the board. So uh, good game, and I'll uh, post that up after. Uh, didn't go. Do some editing. No, definitely not. <laughs>